Welcome everyone to the TVAA Theory Tech Tutorial. We are going to make this really quick and talk about a couple functions that are going to be really important um, as we go along our online theory experience. Um, really quick, I am Valerie Nelson, you know me, and this is Luke Harnish. He is our theory teacher as well as our voice and piano teacher here at TVAA. I'm going to let him take it over. Hey folks, uh, we're also joined by James Nelson, who will be a student in Theory 1. He's just going to help us demonstrate a few different concepts today. Uh, so in general, we're having this tutorial just so that we can hopefully avoid any glitches as you're helping your students set up their Zoom sessions. It's really important for families to be able to offer that support so that we can maximize our time together and make it as educational and fun as possible given the 45 minutes we have every week. So some basic Zoom functions we're gonna show you to start off. If you look in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see a mute button. This turns your microphone on and off. When Valerie clicks on it, you'll see a little red microphone in the corner of her picture. And when she clicks it again, She's able to speak. Hello. So, I'll be having you mute for certain activities simply because if you all speak at once with the lag from Zoom, it'll sound like a bunch of different voices coming from everywhere. So the next function is the stop video and start video function right next to the mute button. We want you to have your video on as much as possible. Even though we're not physically together, we want to create that environment by seeing all of us at once. If you have to run away for an emergency, feel free to click that video button, but make sure you turn it right back on when you come back. Also next to that button, you'll see an arrow where you can access an option to have a virtual background. And this is a fun feature that we might be playing with a few times just to add another fun element to our theory games. Might be the Golden Gate Bridge, uh, can be any number of things, and you can even make your own graphics up behind. Moving on, we have the chat function. So even though we'll be doing a lot of verbal conversing back and forth, if there's something important that you need to address while I might be in the middle of demonstrating something up at the board or if we're in the middle of the activity, you can just put something in the chat and I'll be able to see that and so will everybody else. Valerie will also demonstrate how we can do a private message if it's something that's more sensitive and you don't want anybody else to see. Moving on, we also have a raise hand function. Certainly you can raise your hand on the screen and I'll be able to see you. But again, if we're in the middle of something, you can do a virtual hand raise. And that way I'll be able to see something without you having to make a huge visual distraction to the whole class. And from there, there's one more basic Zoom function I want you to be aware of, and that's the gallery view. So if you're looking at um, Valerie's screen right now, you'll see all three of us in the picture. There's some other views, however, where it's just the speaker, in which case you would only see me and all the other faces to the side. We want to be able to see everybody at once so that we can create more of this music community. And because it's a small class of only five or six students, five students, six. Um, there will only be seven or eight different screens, um, including Valerie and my screen as well, um, on any given class. So we'll be able to see everybody and interact together. Uh, so moving on from here, there's a cool function that Zoom offers called breakout rooms. And I'm going to assign Valerie and James into a breakout room right now. When I do this, there will be a prompt for them to join. All right, so I see my prompt come up. It says join breakout room and I hit that and it will join me to a breakout room just with James. Then we see a message from Luke saying hello and then he will tell us when we are working on our breakout room. Oh, it's time to rejoin. So we'll leave our room, our breakout room and come back to the main page. And we're back. James, thank you for your help. We'll be seeing more of you once we get started on Tuesday. So moving on from here, I want to briefly talk about how to upload assignments. We will be having short 
but very meaningful homework assignments every single week throughout our theory course. And I'd like you to upload them online so I can offer you feedback. This is not a great assignment, but simply a way for me to gauge how well you're grasping the content and to give you some encouraging feedback to keep you in the right direction. So I'm gonna move my screen down a little bit. We're going to pretend that this index card here is an assignment. And I am going to use the Notes app on my iPhone to scan this. Now, if you don't have an iPhone, that's okay. There are other options, but this is one option. So if I go to my Notes app here, click on that and create a new note, you'll see a little camera icon down there. I'm going to click that and you'll see where it says scan documents. I click on that and now I have the option to scan this Voila. And then from there, I can save this. I don't know if you can see that down there. And once I save it, you go to this button up top and it gives you the option to upload directly to Google Drive right there. So you can do all of this upload directly from your phone, super simple. If you do not have an iPhone, that's totally okay. Scans are ideal. It's easier for me to mark feedback on them, but if need be, a picture is fine. You'll be able to upload those files equally simply to the Google Drive. And so now at this point, I'm going to share my screen and show you how to work with the Google Drive. All right, can you see that, Valerie? Yes, I can. All right, so in this Google Drive, we have three main folders as of now. The student files one is going to be the most important for uploading work. So we'll go in here and you'll see another folder with everybody's name. Let's click on James. Within each folder, you'll see a submit work here and feedback folder. This is where you want to upload each of your assignments. So when you're scanning your documents, you'll essentially upload them right into this area here. And if you first upload it to computer, it'll be a simple drag and drop from your files. I'll be then downloading that, writing feedback on it and putting it into this folder, which you'll be able to access. So let's move back to the homepage for this Google Drive. There's another folder called class recordings. We are going to be recording every single class. So you can go back and review all of the lessons and activities we do. Especially if you're struggling with a given concept, this will be a great tool for you to use. You can scroll through the whole lesson, pinpoint the part that you're struggling with, and rewatch it a few times to see if that helps you grasp the concept better. Obviously, Valerie and I are both here for help as well, but this is a good first place to start. I'll also be uploading some digital media that'll be required to uh, complete certain assignments. Our first assignment is actually going to be a video that you take um, doing some hand gestures along to do re mi and you'll be able to go here and you can download the file and play it directly um i'm not sure why it gave me this sign actually last time i was able to play it directly from the google drive so depending on the memory that your computer has you may be able to play it directly from the google drive if not it's a simple download really quick we are going to give you an assessment it is not a test. You do not have, you're not going to get graded on it, but you, we will have you download it into your file before the first class so that you will be able to practice how to do that. And again, you can always email us for any questions. Absolutely. And just to reiterate, all of these homework assignments, they're not for a grade. They're simply to help you progress with your development of these different skills. And the feedback is just to keep you on the right direction. So uh, with this, we conclude our TVAA tech tutorial. And on a final note, I'd just like to say, we know that tech glitches are going to happen and we'll respond to them in the moment as they come. Nobody's going to be penalized for having a weak internet connection or a sudden video glitch. We just hope that these little tips and tricks will help you have an easier and more friendly experience interfacing with this technology. 
we are both here for you if you need any help as to how you navigate Zoom. But this goes over the main things that we'll be dealing with. Thank you so much, Luke. And we are excited to see you all in class on Tuesday. Thank you.